Hi, Pigs. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Ooh. My name's uh, Fang. Fang here, and I'm uh, with me, Mojo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, I'm with Fang right now, and well, not still not Fang on screen, but Fang here. <laughs> Like, I wish I was Y2K, I would be like so tall. Yeah, we had the uh, casting together with Y2K earlier. Meanwhile, what we have here now is we have Team Incognito versus Brandy Sports. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the same caliber you would say the likes of Impunity and Elite Eight. I mean, Brandy Sports have been like part of the competitive scene for quite some time since last year. So I think I I needed to learn more about this competitive teams that I'm seeing right now because like I have a, a limited knowledge about the pro scenes. And yeah, like from casual to like competitive, right? So right now I mean brand esports. I mean they were like on the top during like Tesseract, Vainglory, Autumn season and Summer season. I mean they were like kind of on match with Elite Eight, like and kind of on par with uh, Impunity and Renegade at some point. And as all of you know, Renegades is disbanded, and now like Renegades plus Impunity is the new Impunity. Ooh, I've seen Impunity earlier. I think they dominated the game last game. Yeah, you could say. I mean, for me, even though I'm a Brandy Sports fan, I mean, Impunity is like the top one in Southeast Asia at the moment. I mean, just because of how long they've been together, just really Impunity. You just saw a while ago. I mean, the rotation, coordination, even the draft. Yeah, I like the discipline. Even as well. the picks. I mean, they. They don't really ban the on meta heroes. I mean, they go for like really what you would say like odd, like flicker, right? They have a good team composition as well for rotation. I love, I love the discipline. Yeah, and of course, I mean Spaghetti itself. I mean, for me, he's the MVP. Waterva is like the captain, like the man. But Spaghetti pulls the clutch plays. Waterva also. I mean, it's so hard to decide between these two, who's the top. Yeah, I've seen Spaghetti initiate and like he's like doing the catch plays. I've seen a lot and then they have managed to turn around some plays. Um, I think earlier they nearly died there and they managed to turn around that play and they and then the other team did nothing. Yeah, and also I mean just to point out, um what we're seeing right now is Sync One from Brandy Sports. I mean Spaghetti and Sync One are like really like close close friends Ooh. same lane as well that's why it's like a very friendly rivalry I would call it they have history as well Ooh. well what are their nationality I'm just kind of curious though yeah I mean as for uh, Incognita I'm not so sure but for Brandy Sports it's an all Filipino team Ooh. so yeah so one in like Spaghetti is Filipino, as uh, Swaito K mentioned earlier. So yeah, what I've heard is that Spaghetti is actually uh, a permanent resident in Singapore. That's why he, you know, kind of, kind of chose Singapore because he lives there, obviously. So where else would you find him? Right now, we are ready to go. Are you excited, Mojo? Yeah, I'm, I'm, re I'm really excited to see how this game goes. And now we're gonna enter the draft here. Yes. Let's see. I mean, knowing Brandy Sports, I mean, they kind of draft the same way as the people. I mean, they don't really lean towards like oh what's what's the trend let's go for it yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of deviate from other kind of metas so they're banning the new hero here yeah, Anka. Anka. so I have never seen this hero before is the is this hero painful for this patch or yeah I mean if you guys play uh, AOV if you guys know butterfly I mean Anka when she's able to kill or assist someone her first and second skill refreshes that's why she always gets banned. I mean, just imagine you can like in a clash, kill, 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 CD, CD refresh, CD refresh. So you can like keep jumping from one hero to another, like, kill them. Even an assist, right? Not even a kill. Even an assist will um, trigger the cooldown. That's a really, really helpful for. That's a really, really helpful, helpful for a team that really needs to like spam skills a lot. Yeah, I mean, what here? We see a box here. I think this Vox is a targeted ban because I'm pretty sure people know that Brand Esports, especially Wei Yan, he plays a lot of Vox. Ooh, so they don't want to see that Wei Yan. Yeah, it's a targeted ban. They're a really smart ban, if you ask me. Meanwhile, here we're seeing uh, Fortress. Fortress and Kinetic. I mean, these are the kind of bans, uh, the standard. Ooh, they got Reza. Reza is a jungle hero here, or not? Yeah, it's a jungle hero that, like. The past few patches, she, he wasn't really in the meta, but right now he got a slight, like a nerf. That's why 
you see here Reza first pick even a priority pick for uh, Team Incognito and the Brand Esports has picked Adaljo yeah Adaljo what I noticed with Brand Esports is that they really go for the sustain right I mean it's the same discipline for other MOBAs right sustain long battles yeah they need Adaljo for his heals and look at that they follow up with a Katarina so I mean both these heroes are hard to kill to begin with but right now they're gonna go for this uh, Reza ah uh, for Lyra they can initiate with that Catherine when he like dashes something and then he stuns someone if he caught that one but I think um, they might go for the fin oh, oh the Arden instead Arden. so Arden is like a uh, useful hero the useful hero that provides like an armor boost or something yeah and the vanguard in the gauntlet right yeah. it's like a great way to box out or trap someone yeah so the third pick for Incognito will be Barot. Oh, I'm seeing a trend here, like the Gauntlet, right? Yeah. And you have Reza, he's like a AoE kind of jungler, and you have a Baron with explosives. I think that's the game plan. Like an AoE, although AOE. the tricky part about it is uh, we've seen it the past games with City, uh, City and Vigilant. I mean, executing it itself. I mean, it might look good on paper, the draft, but this kind of comp, it's so hard to execute. Yeah, they need the, the kind of timing and then that that they need that time that time to like execute it properly, especially if if Ardan managed to like uses his ultimate on them and then the rest will follow the, though. And then the the Celeste pick and then the Alpha pick. Look at the Shirt Walker. They're really going for that like trapping everyone in a single area and like going all in. Now with the churn walker the churn walker as well he can like manage to leech something he can like hook to someone and then he can yeah, drag like, him. stun multiple ones and you have a gwen just like you know a cleaner their, their adc here and then for the last pick of bren what will they need? Uh, right now they need a uh, a bot dps here so might oh they're going no, for no, the cool no, no. jump jump so that makes me wonder who is gonna be their bot, right? Yeah, I, I knowing that Grump Joe is like a jungle hero. Yeah, too. or a top, right? Yeah. So oh, it might be Alpha going for the bot lane here. Yeah, solo top, solo top lane. No, it might be Grump Joe. I'm not sure. Catherine top lane, Alpha bot lane, and Grump Joe jungle. Well, that's just a guess. We're gonna see it. Yeah, so we're gonna see uh, Bren Esports versus Incognito. This is the first game of the series. Alright guys, this is Mesa for the month of July. And now we are. This is presented by Zenfone Max Pro M1. Yeah, so um, who do you think will win this fight? Well, I mean, just like seeing in terms of like um, history. Really, Bren Esports is the favorite to win here. While Incognito is the underdogs, I mean they're Incognito, right? I mean there's yeah. like they might hiding, some, they might hide something. They might, we're not sure. They might actually bring something different on the rise right now. We're entering the sovereign rise here. Um, so are they gonna go for like early hunting something, or are they gonna play safe as usual? Let's see. I mean, as for me, Bren. Esports, they like to play very aggressive, right? They Ooh. go for the jungle, and uh, oh, but not, they're not going for it. They're, they wanted the mid. Yeah, because I mean, just on the composition itself, I mean, it's a very sustained kind of comp for brand esports, so they really can't commit to be uh, invading early game. So, so I've seen Turnwalker here aiding their mid. They're giving the space so solo grump Joe at the bottom lane. Yeah, and that's Remy. I, mean. I think ah uh, there you go. Stephen is back oh, on the rise here. Oh, well, it looks like we're gonna have a uh, two-minute break here. Okay. So are we gonna? Yeah, we're just gonna have a break. Yes, we're back here. Yeah. And uh, we just had some quick picks for our screen. It looks better now. But right now, what we're seeing one thirteen. So what happened during? That time we lost our camera there. I think by looking at the scoreboard, like Saint Quan and Mega Man went wild. Brand Esports is really owning that one. I think giving Incognito only one kill. Yeah, whose kill was that? That was Grump Jaw. 
I'm pretty sure that was Mega Man, like being greedy, diving. But wow, look at this. The way have him. Mega Man is there to assist way have there. But what's so interesting about this is that um, Brand Esports is not depending to a uh, DPS, like an ADC, right? Yeah. Like Gwen uh, in Incognito. I mean, they're just all about just really. Their comp really complements each other. That's why it's 114. 114. So I think they're taking the objective too fast here. And considering this is a 10 minute mark, actually. Yeah, I mean, for me, for VG, I mean, I think it's the rest for MOBA, right? Like, hero kills don't really matter. Yeah, they need to take the objectives down if you got a lot of kills but you can't defend your base. Or like, break turrets. There's no point to kills. There's no point to kills, there's no point to items, they're losing so hard here. Double kill. <laughs> Wait, um, and uh, it's gonna restart here. The, the Alpha is really confident in diving there. Yeah, and that's why when you have like two lives. Yeah, he got he got Adaljo there and th to like aid him to heals. So he's really confident to dive there. And Look at this. Pablo Escobar just like tick 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 away, I'm gonna dive in, pink candy. Just to be Ooh. careful here. Ooh. Down. <laughs> Not enough. Just like a scratch in their HP bars there. Yeah, considering the level, I think the level is really gapped there. Well, the level, 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 so let's hear 101. That. Pixel. Pixel. Oh. So stunned. He's been stunned here and then. Whoa, so let's get to the here. Up. And then Cookie. Meanwhile, with Catherine. No, Catherine is like backing down here. Oh, uh, there's just so much action happening in top lane here. They don't want to fall back. They want to fall back because they dominate the top lane. I, I think they're applying pressure to them. Yeah, they didn't see that one coming. Grumja just took down King Candy there. Ooh. So I think their next in line here is the middle tower. Yeah, the middle tower. Slowly, they're breaking the turret slowly. Weam, I think Weam. Has to fall back. Oh, sink one bot TP boots. Boogies has been trapped here. Mortal wound been applied. Slow. I pixel is gonna fall down here. Another one. Double kill. Armory is. Oh, he ate him alive. Bye bye. Bye bye. And then look at that. <laughs> Five man is waiting for him there. And wow. then the Baron ultimate is like a nothing. And the Dalji ultimate has been summoned. And then. The vein has been exposed and they're, they're trying to finish this as quick as they can. Alpha is trying to do the damage, but look at that. Artan is in panic here. Oh, I think they're uh, they're not they're gonna do nothing anymore here. They're, look at how Brand Esports is dominating this. But they game. need to go for that. Vayne now. But Vayne is really doing the damage to them as well. Yeah, right now. They can defend he, they, they can defend this one. Way um just too aggressive, but Sink One might be able to end this one. One more tick. Friend, Sink there, one, there you, you go. go. 528. Sink, Sink one can die now. Now that's a really lot of kills for Bren Esports. Well, we didn't see that one coming. 